Alright, I'm going to do a quick um, I guess review and see how well this uh, Harbor Freight Syntec uh, float charger uh, works. Um, picked it up a couple of months ago uh, from Home Depot or Home Depot from Harbor Freight and it was five bucks. So there's the item number there, 42292. And we'll do a comparison, uh, probably maybe like a 24 hour comparison. It's about uh, one o'clock in the afternoon. So we'll hook this up, let this run overnight, and check it out tomorrow at one o'clock and see if there's any difference in the uh, charge on the battery. This is the uh, whole thing here. So you have this little device here and the leads and I just got some uh, foam to keep them from clinging together uh, if it's plugged in. So that's just on there holding to keep them from touching each other. Um, little coiled wire and power outlet here and according to the instructions what it tells you to do when you hook this up it tells you there that the um, let's see if we can get this in the frame here that the battery voltage uh, must be fully charged at least 12 volts and the flow charger uh, <coughs> excuse me prevents the uh, discharge of the battery while maintaining the extending the life of the uh, battery so it says that you're supposed to place the float charger within three feet of the battery unplug the AC Adapter, connect to red and black terminals. Um, it says the LED indicator doesn't light up unless the uh, thing is hooked up correctly. And then you plug it into the uh, outlet. So let's uh, give this a shot. Um, this is one of those dual post uh, batteries. So it has the terminals on the top and on the side. I put these on the side so the um, clamps are easier to connect to the battery than on the top and I don't have to stretch the springs out in them because this is a lot smaller and then these I can just take out they just screw out and that's as far in as they go is where you see them there's a washer that goes on and I guess with the actual terminal that uh, belongs in the car it takes up the extra space but yeah that's that so let's get started Batteries marked, big negative, big positive, um, just in case. I did hook these up correctly. Um, those are there. So, negative one to negative, positive one to positive, and we are getting a LED indicator on our charger. Oh, and before we do this, here let's, oop, sorry, bump the camera. Let me see that there. We're on DC and let's see what the battery reading is so we can see if there's a change between um, today and tomorrow. So, put on the positive, 
one on the negative, and looks like we're reading 12.9. So let's take one of these leads off just to make sure we're not getting a false reading. can't even see that. Oh. You see that? There we go, 12.48. So we're going to see if the voltage goes up between now and tomorrow. Just so nothing goes flying anywhere, I'm going to take this and clamp it up here so it keeps it from, uh, if it slips off, it doesn't short out. The terminals don't go anywhere. Okay, we're hooked up. We got our indicator lit there. So we're plugging in. And we'll check back in 24 hours. Stay tuned. Okay, it's the next day, um, a little bit more than 24 hours. It's actually about 28 hours, so it's a little after 5 um, the next day after. Uh, charger's been on all night, uh, pretty much all day. There's no issue smell. Uh, I don't think the charger went bad. It still has an indicator light on it. You can see there that it's still uh, powered up, and let's uh, take a couple of regions. I think if you remember from yesterday, well, you're watching the video now, so it was just a couple of seconds for you. But from yesterday when we took the reading, it was 12.48. So let's see what the um, the reading is today. On the 12.44, 12.48, I'd have to review the uh, the footage. If it's any higher or lower, I'll make a note. So disconnect that one. So this is why I have the phone. So I can just clamp that guy on there. Pull this one off and clamp that on there. And now they, they're not drawn to touch each other. Take that off. Let's see what our battery is reading today. If it's any higher or lower. And... Let's see if I can get this 
in the frame. Ah. My lead's too short. There. Trying to get everything lined up for you guys so you can see. Okay. Now, I'm trying to do this with uh, one hand is a little hard. Okay. And we are at 1347. So the voltage has gone up. So that charger worked pretty good. Uh, after 24 hours on the uh, charger, it has fully charged the battery up to 13.46 volts. So that's a definite thumbs up. So I guess if you guys are looking for a cheap, inexpensive... Now as far as longevity, I don't know what the longevity of this guy is. Um, I purchased it sometime around August or September. I always like to put dates on my paperwork uh, but it was around that time when I got it this year and I think played with it two or three other times other than this actual official test on this battery which is a good battery um, but there you go a Syntec uh, float charger 12 volt, 12 volt automatic and the item number there is 42292. Alright, if you have any questions, comments, or anything about this, uh, leave them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you have any other questions or anything in relation to this or the battery, uh, let me know. I look forward and appreciate the feedback. I appreciate you guys watching the, uh, the video. And, you know, as I come across things, I will do a review on it and throw it up online. All right. I got to go get ready for uh, winter. Uh, as of the filming of this, it's 12-8, and we're supposed to get four inches of snow between 12-8 and 12-9. Yay, snow. Okay. Um, questions, comments, concerns, comment section below. Uh, check out a couple of videos that I'll have here. Click here to subscribe. And if you want uh, to help support the cause, uh, click on the Patreon link there and uh, sign up for that. I greatly appreciate it. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.